Well, let's now look at 13 pi radians. What we find is that we have 13 pi, where 2 pi is a full rotation. So we actually have gone 6.5 times around a circle. Because we've gone, let's see, one rotation would be 2 pi. Another rotation gives me 4 pi. Another rotation, 6 pi. Another rotation is 8 pi. Another rotation is 10 pi. 12 pi, and then 13 pi brings me to the other side. Whoops. There we go. 13 pi brings me to the other side, which is six and a half rotations. Means I have 650% of the circle. I take that number of rotations, multiply it by 360 to get degrees, multiply by 400 to get grads. 6.5 times 360 gives me 2,340 degrees, or 6.5 times 400 gives me 2,600 grads. Lastly, let's look at negative 17 grads. This means I have negative 17 four hundredths of a circle. I can find the decimal equivalent, which is zero point, or negative 0 0.0425. This means I have 4.25% of the circle. I take this number, multiply by 360 to get degrees, multiply by 2 pi to get radians. I find that that's about 15.3 degrees, negative, and let's see. Multiply 2 pi and we get negative 0 0.267 radians. Those are the same as negative 17 grads. So hopefully that has helped you to understand exactly what radians are. They, radians refer to how much of a radius has been cut off in the arc length. And also give you some kind of familiarity with converting between radians, degrees, and even grads. Do make sure you know how to do all three of these objectives. If not, go back and watch the videos again. If you're ready, you're more than welcome to move on to the next section, which is talking about formulas involving circles.